Storytelling can be one of the most powerful tools we have to get a message across. Stay tuned for our review of The Sound of Freedom. You're watching This, That, and Theology, helping you to apply your worldview to the world around you. In 2018, production was completed on a film called Sound of Freedom, starring actor Jim Caviezel. About that time, Disney acquired Fox Studios, who had created that film, and shelved the movie project. It took five years, but it's finally in theaters. It's had an incredibly successful run in its first week and a half, and there is even a way for you to see the film for free. But what does this film actually say? And is it appropriate for you and your family to watch? There are some YouTube creators who are calling this the most important film of 2023. But why is that? Why is this film so important for you to watch? The Sound of Freedom tells the true story of DHS and CIA agent Tim Ballard, who until 2012 worked for the U.S. government, clamping down on the distribution and consumption of child pornography. The movie follows fairly closely the events of 2012, where Agent Ballard was frustrated at being recalled at an operation in Colombia and Haiti, where he had to abandon children. Instead, he created a sting operation by gathering some funding and working with locals and rescuing over 120 children, even though the film only says the number is about 53. The film is rated PG-13 because of its subject matter. This is not a film for small children because it deals with issues of sexuality, abuse, and child trafficking, but it is something that all of us should be aware of and we should watch. It's well acted, well produced, even if I thought the lighting throughout the film was a little too dark for my taste. I mean, physically dark. You can see that there's a real high quality in the production of this film, which is important because the message is vital. According to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, there are 350,000 children reported missing every year in the United States alone, and of those, 100,000 of them are being exploited, have moved into human trafficking. The 2021 Federal Human Trafficking Report says that 51% of all people that have been trafficked are children. This is a growing problem in the United States. In fact, reports say that the United States is the number one destination for human trafficking, particularly when it comes to our children. Human trafficking is a $150 billion a year business far surpassing even the illegal arms trade. As the movie at one point says, you can sell an illegal drug once and it's used, but you can sell a child and they're used five times a night for 10 years. We're not talking about an event that happened 50, 60 years ago. We're talking about something that's happening right now, which is why I think you need to see this film. Not only do you need to see this film, but you need to convince your friends to see this film as well. Very often, there's something of a disconnect between events that we aren't personally affected by and the realities of the world. If you're not personally affected by food shortage, you may think that there is always an abundance of food for all people, instead of realizing that there's a huge number of children today whose only meal they get is the free lunch they get through the school program. Because you don't know someone who's personally affected by human trafficking, you may not realize that this is happening in your neighborhoods. There's a video I'm linking to in the description below. That video is about an hour-long conversation with Alan Parr and his guest about human trafficking in the United States alone, and some of those figures will absolutely shock you. At This, That, and Theology, we talk about our worldview and how it affects the world around us. Early on in the film, one of the comments that the main character says is that this is a messed up world, and we do believe that. We believe that the consequence of sin is that all of creation groans, all of creation has been affected because of mankind's sin. There's not a single part of our lives that isn't affected, and no area is more affected than our sexuality. Our constant rebellion against God's design and God's context for sexual behavior cause us some of the most grievous harms our world has ever seen. One of the reasons I think you need to see this film and encourage your friends and family to see this film is that by and large we are somewhat disconnected from this issue. You may not know anyone who's been affected by this. Through storytelling, we're able to understand the world around us a little bit better, especially when it's well done.
God tells us in the book of James that true religion means care for the widows and the orphans. It means caring for the children. The golden rule, which even the non-believer tends to know, to love your neighbor as yourself, we should be heartbroken when we see children, the most innocent and vulnerable of us, being abused, having their innocence robbed from them. Our hearts should break and we should be motivated to action. After I saw this film, I actually took a drive that was 20 minutes longer than the normal drive between my house and the movie theater because I just needed the quiet to think. I knew I was being called to do something, but I wasn't sure what. They do give you one option. You can pay it forward by buying a movie ticket for someone to see the film even if they don't have the funds to. And if you're interested in seeing this film, there are thousands of tickets available for you to see in your local movie theater so that you are able to see this film without experiencing any financial burden. The number one thing you can do is be praying. Pray for organizations like Operation Underground Rescue, the organization that Tim Ballard actually founded. So pray for these organizations. Perhaps consider helping fund some of those organizations. Make sure you do your due diligence. Spend some time looking to make sure your dollars are going the right place. Yes, go see this film. Encourage your friends and families to go see this film. Because the more we are aware of the issue, the more we can be praying for it. Our hearts need to be broken over this issue. And I pray that as you see this film, you'll have a greater awareness of some of the evil in this world. One of the characters in this film, a father of one of the children who's rescued, says, could you sleep through the night if one of your children's bed was empty? His daughter of just 11 years was one of those who was stolen. And while some of these characters are fictionalized, Many of the criminals are based on real individuals. The recruiting methods that they're using are the actual recruiting methods that are being used by these predators. We need to be aware, we need to be praying, and sometimes we need to take action. I don't know what your action is. Mine was that I needed to make this movie review and to link some of the information below in the description. I encourage you, go see this film. Use one of those free tickets that's available. If this video review has been helpful for you, be sure to like and share it because maybe someone seeing this video will encourage them to go see this film. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, I encourage you to do so right now. There's a link right here for you to do that. You can also like this video, share it with your friends, post it on Facebook, Facebook, leave a comment so that I know that this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Hear that? That's the sound of freedom.